21 Rockstar families, it's so great to see you for our weekly vodcast on this beautiful fall day in November. We have a few more weeks left before our fall break for Thanksgiving. Uh, a couple announcements before I actually just get to all of the strategies for the week would include... First, I want to recognize our rock star of the week, Elijah Lewis. He has had incredible aura presentation skills recently, um, and his tracking in class has also been incredible without reminders. So I've really been blown away by that, along with the leadership role that he took in um, Friday during Academy time. So for that purpose, he was named this week's rock star of the week. As you all know, this week is the time of the year when we have parent-teacher conferences. And as you know, they are student-led this year. So in a second, I'm actually going to take you to the website where I have a link to the page that I sent home with the questions that um, you can ask your child during the conference. It's just a, you know, a, a small list. Uh, obviously, you could ask many different things, but it's something to get you started. And I'll show you that in one second. I sent home the conference confirmation times with everyone um, on the slip of paper and on the Friday folder. But if you're still not sure of your conference time for some reason, please let me know and I will be sure to get that to you. Also with the conferences, try to be on time um, so that we can keep them going because the conferences are lined up back to back to back. So if for some reason I get off of one of the conferences, it's kind of like dominoes and they all get pushed back a little bit. Um, but I really, really am looking forward to the conferences on Tuesday and Thursday of this week. Um, the students will be practicing on Monday and Tuesday in class for their portion of the conference, um, where they're going to really be talking to you about the Barrett Academy Constitution, will there, where they will be talking about some of their writing, their multiplication facts, and the academic goal that they're going to be setting for themselves for the next quarter. Finally, before I send you off to the strategy section of the vodcast for the week, I just want to talk a little bit about the lock-in on Friday. Tomorrow, I will be sending home an informational flyer for you about all the details you need to know about the lock-in for those of you who have signed up. A couple of quick announcements for that would be first... On Friday, when you drop off your child at 7 p.m. in the front lobby of the school, we'll have a sign-in sheet where you'll sign in your child and also give us the main point of contact for the evening. So whatever number would be best um, in case of emergency. And we'll be handing you a slip of paper with Mrs. Sutton and I's cell phone number so that you can contact us if there is also any problem. Because we're doing that, we're also asking that no one bring their cell phone. So none of the students will be permitted to have a cell phone at the lock-in. We're going to have um, many different ways for them to contact you in case of any emergency or sickness or anything. So we just think that will be the best way to go forward so that we don't have to have any um, personal cell phones there other than Mrs. Sutton and I's. Um, a couple of other announcements with the lock-in. In a second, I'm also going to show you the Sign Up Genius website. We're just asking that you bring one item from that list, and you can easily just go onto the website, the link's on our Fusion page, and sign up for one of the items that we have left. It's really nice because you can see what has been taken and what hasn't. Um, and finally, we're planning on showing the movie The Croons on Friday night, but because it's rated PG, we have to have um, permission for that. So on the flyer that's coming home tomorrow, there's a tiny little portion at the bottom that I just need you to fill out so that we can have permission to watch that on Friday. I will also be sending home an agenda, uh, more specifically of what we have planned for Friday night and Saturday morning. I am so excited for the lock, and we have so many cool activities planned, so much um, opportunity for us to have some great community building and to get in that service um, opportunity of a Barrett Academy kid and a Barrett Academy scholar. We're actually going to be working on a food drive for some local families as well. So if you have any questions about the lock-in, please do not hesitate to contact me. But like I said, on that form that will be coming home tomorrow, it will have all of the information that you'll need as well as permission for your child to watch the PG-rated film called The Croons on Friday night. Now I'm going to send you over to the strategy session. Thanks for tuning in. As always, let me know, are these strategies helping? Are they hurting? Are they too much? Are they too small? Give me some feedback. We uh, and Take out a pencil, some paper, and enjoy. 
Hi Rockstar family, so the first couple of things I want to show you actually deal with the conferences and the lock-in on Friday. So, first, if you scroll down on our Class Fusion page, you can find it at the Kate Waller Barrett website, here you see it on my screen, I come down and I actually go to the Rockstar documents and under the student-led conferences tab, which you'll find right here, I put the parent tip sheet that I created for you to kind of use as a guide um, during the conference. I'm not saying that you have to ask these questions during the conference, but it's just a really good set of questions that you can ask. You know, after your child explains to you their math fluency sheet or some of their writing samples or the Barrett Academy Constitution, you could ask, can you explain this to me? Or how did you come up with this idea? Or how have you grown in this area? How can you improve in this area? How can we help you at home? What was important to you about this? Those types of questions will actually bring along the conversation a little more for the student-led conferences. So that that's just um, um, one resource that you can use that I put on the Barrett Academy website or on our Class Fusion page under the Rockstar Documents and Student-Led Conferences. Secondly, I just want to show you the link for our lock-in. Here I have the information about the lock-in and under Sign Up to bring an item for the lock-in at Sign Up Genius, you click that link, here you'll find Sign Up Genius. And basically what Sign Up Genius does, and you'll see it right here, is it has all of these available slots with the things that we're asking for. And you can see the folks who have already signed up and the spots that are not signed up for yet. So the spots that are open, you can hit sign up and then you can actually submit and sign up. You don't have, all you have to do is put in your name. You don't have to create an account um, per se. It's really just a guest um, type deal. So that's one excellent way for you to um, see what we need still and we're just asking for each student to bring one item for the lock-in and as I said further information will be coming home tomorrow Monday in a on a um, flyer about the lock-in for Friday so those are those two things now I actually want to take you back to the Kate Waller Barrett website and show you a couple of other things. So this week in social studies, we're actually going to be um, reviewing all of the Explorers unit. The students will be presenting a class project that they've been working on in class. That we'll be playing the clue game out in our in the hallway of the fifth grade wing for review. And on Thursday, we will have our social studies review. In the next few days, I'll be putting on a study video. But while I do that, I actually created down here in the class news section under European Explorer Quizlet a really great review game with kind of flashcards for the students to study. It's totally free. They can come to the site and they can use it in a couple of different ways. First of all, they could start with flashcards and simply, what's an empire? They can click on it, there's what it is. The next card, Silk Road, why is it important? That information, they can learn them by actually typing them into the box. They can, um, Speller is probably not what we're going to have there. They can take a test, there's matching some fill in the blank. They have a scatter, which is my favorite game the computer actually arranges all of the words and all of the definitions and the students actually have to take the word and drag it on the, the top of whatever it fits with and then they'll disappear and they're timed and it's kind of a lot of fun and finally the race feature where words start to scroll across the screen maybe definitions and the student has to type it into this box and then hit enter so this is just a really great way to study all of those things that we've been practicing in class on Quizlet. So this is one way that the students can study for their social studies um, assessment that's coming up on Thursday. Like I said, I will be pay posting a social studies review video like I always do, but this is one way to kind of get ahead on that. Also in math, one other thing, this week we're really going to be starting a new topic in comparing and ordering fractions and decimals. And the fractions we're going to be working with this week do not have common denominators, or the bottom number, the whole of the fraction, is not the same. So this site right here, Math is Fun, is actually a really cool site because it has a lesson. And then down at the bottom, the students can take their turn with the different questions. I just thought this was a really good way if you want to extend the learning in the home um, as well. So that is available under Class News once again and under the link section comparing and ordering fractions and decimals. That's a really great way to practice that. Two other things I just want to briefly show you would actually be on 
um, this document I have right here. In reading this week, we're going to be working on summarizing. Summarizing text, nonfiction and fiction text. And summarizing is a really challenging skill just because it's really hard to take a text that you read and put it down into a sentence or two to give the whole idea of what the text was about. So I actually have a strategy called Do You Get the Gist? Okay, And what happens is a student will write down 10 to 15 words as they're reading. Words that maybe come up over and over and over again in the text. Okay, When they're done reading, they have all 10 to 15 words that kind of came up over and over again. They place them into a sentence like I have written right here. They place them into a sentence and they can read the sentence. And after reading that sentence, that really gives them a good idea as to what the summary of that text is. So that's one really great strategy to use at home. Here I just have, um, I took a picture of one of the books that we're reading in class. And an example of this would be, if they're reading this part of the text, okay, what they would essentially do is find the words that come up over and again, over and over again. So I said, hey boy, the driver shouted, are you serious? Sure, I said. Well, now, ain't that something? You know, when I was your age, I did the same thing. Only thing was, I was a farm boy and ran to the city, and you're a city boy running to the woods. I was scared of the city. Do you think you'll be scared of the woods? So here's some words that I heard over and over. I'm sorry, that's a little thick. I heard boy, farm boy, ran to the city. I heard city boy, running to the woods. These are words that kind of come up over and over and over again. So if the students, if the rock stars use the gist strategy that I just showed you here, writing down 10 to 15 words in a text that they hear over and over, and then take those words and place them into a sentence, they can really help themselves in getting the main idea of a text. So. That does it for our strategy session for the week. As always, remember to visit our Class Fusion page um, with all of these great resources that I have here. And one final thing, the students' claymations are posted under the Podcast, Vodcast, and More section of the website. So be sure to check those out and look at their hard work. I was really satisfied with how those ended up. And now I'll take you back to Mr. Ray. Okay, Room 21 Rockstar family, so I hope that that was helpful. Let me know where the strategy is useful, were they not useful. Um, and I will see you this week for our conferences. Looking forward to those and also looking forward to the lock-in on Friday. As always, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please do not feel... Uh, please do not hesitate to contact me. You are the best families in Stafford County. Have a wonderful week.